What's up everybody? Welcome back. My name is Micah and this will be my fifth flight lesson and today what we're going to be doing is some review and then also some emergency descent procedures. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe and of course feel free to head on to Patreon and become a member of the flight club there. Thanks again for watching and let's get into the sky. Get your flag, you get a touch of a left crosswind. See that? 60. There's the airspeed supply. There's the green. Said left crosswind? Felt like right. Slight left. So you're now drifting towards the trees over here. Okay. With the goal of doing stalls, steep turns, and an emergency descent, we climbed up to 3,500 feet. One of the cool things about the south training area is flying over the water. Usually there is plenty of boat traffic to observe as you fly. Occasionally you might also spot a C-130 or a V-22 Osprey flying low over the far end of the lake. After having a day off, I felt a little rough on the controls, and it became obvious during our initial setup for stalls. I understand recovery, but I really need to memorize the setup because the examiner will definitely ask for me to set up a stall situation. So you've already got your flaps in, so what would you need to do at that point? Power off stall? Yep. Turn, kill the power and then pull the nose up? Uh, well, steps to a power off stall. So normally you pull the power to 1700, you're bleeding off airspeed, you're putting in flaps, and you're establishing a stabilized descent, right? So 1700 RPM and a stabilized descent That's at right. 70 miles an Stabil hour. I always forget the stabilized descent first. Yep. So from here you've got to pitch over and set your power to 1700 RPM. And so you pitch that sight picture. So let's go ahead and pitch for that sight picture for that final approach. Whatever that sight picture looks like. About 1700 RPM. Right there in it. Uh, verify your airspeed. At 60. You're going to be at 70, right? You want to be at 70. So pitch over. That's a lot higher than it was for me last time. Eh, it shouldn't be. Your sight picture is going to be about the same each time. Alright, I'm at 17. Okay. Alright, 70. There you go, you're at 70, you're in a stabilized descent. Now pull the power and pitch up. And what are you looking for on the recovery? Looking for airspeed and then looking for vertical. Okay. What else are you doing? Flaps. One Flaps. notch in first. The third notch comes out immediately. The second notch is when you gain airspeed and positive rate of climb. After several more power off and power on stalls, we transitioned into steep turns. My first one was rough, but the subsequent turns were much better. Okay. A little bit more nose down. You want to go into that steep turn at 100 miles an hour. Lays an altitude though. So add more power. Alright. A little trim in there. Yep. Alright, ready? Whenever, yeah, whenever you're ready. Go left.
Okay, do you hear the engine revving? Yeah. To the right. There you go. Which one did you like better? Right one's better. Yeah. Ah. That little bump right there? Yeah. You flew through your own wake. Ah. Huh. Interesting. It's always fun when that happens. Yeah, so overall not bad. Yeah. First one was rough. Okay, you held your altitude, you had held your airspeed, you rolled out on your heading. We'll do it again. Left side? Yep. Alright, and uh, now we'll do that emergency descent. Okay. So, oh no, oh no, I'm having a heart attack. There is an ambulance in that field right off your right, left wing. That one right there? Yep, so let's okay. get down to it. There you go. Yeah, get some flap in here. They've been pretty quick too, because... Typically I just put in one notch of flaps, but yeah, we can roll with three. Okay. Now, yeah, normally would you just kind of circle here and then move that way? Exactly. Okay. I would kind of get my, I would position myself over my field. And then start circling down? And then circle down. Is there a reason you choose one instead of three? Um, one's just an easier initial setup. Okay. So, like, with one notch of flaps, I can come down at 110 and still be doing 1,200 feet per minute down. Well, I can bring one out. And we're going to recover a thousand feet above the ground. And uh, your choice, S turns across a road or turns around a point first. Okay. Wait for that thousand feet. Yep. About seventeen hundred out here. Okay. Probably a little less, but. And so as you're as you're setting off an emergency landing into a field, what you want to be is you want to kind of be above your key point. Um. So your key point would be. Uh, say your aim point is that water tower, you're going to parallel your pretend runway. You know, off your left wing. And you would want to be a thousand feet above the ground about the time your left wing hit that water tower. And okay. then you just do a power off 180 into it. Because you've already got the flaps in, you're already set up to where you don't have to bleed off a ton of airspeed. Right. You don't have to make major configuration changes. So getting at least that first notch of flaps in sets you up for a smoother, more efficient power off landing. So at this point you're still 2,000 feet above the ground. Yep, not quite parallel with it yet though. So not quite parallel with it. And if you're a little bit higher than you wanted to be, Okay. If you got room. Yeah, extend out a little bit. Oh, you're, uh... Yep, there you go. Right about there. And so, if that had been a, an actual landing you situation, off in there. you would just do a power off 180 into there. Next, we moved into turns around the point and S-turns. For the sake of brevity of this video, we won't show this portion, but I was much more confident on this than last time. We moved back to the airport and did a normal powered landing. Final's clear. Oh, it looks clear. Alright. Alexander City traffic, Warrior 6224 Juliet on final runway 18, Alexander City. Get that final flaps in there. See the any wind indicators anywhere? Uh, 
We're over that flag. Yeah, can't see the flag. He said calm, so... Yeah, but you know how that is. I know how that is. We've had that calm wind before. Sure. But I see the flag's pretty much drooping all the way down, so I think Okay, cool. Must be calm, then. I think we're actually calm today. Alright, how are you feeling on your landing? I'm feeling pretty good, actually. Be a tad high here. I don't even know what I'm doing here. <laughs> you should teach me everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then you can put flaps to zero and use the brakes. Oh, I remember my job now. Yep, get, that's what you're... Speed get. brakes! <laughs> Air conditioning. Air conditioning <laughs> speed brake. It's a special <laughs> new thing. Called all pipers. Alright, wanna do one more lap? Sure. Her one more lap was not exactly what I thought. All right, want me to demo something cool? Sure. Engine failure at 700 feet on takeoff. You want, you want the control? I've got the controls. Here, you got the controls. I've got the controls. 700 feet on takeoff. Steep turn around, you're pulling for 80. You're gonna lose about 500 feet in the turn. Now we're good. Alright, now you just line up with the runway. A little high, throwing a flap. You can go in front, yeah, I about to say you could go and throw them all in. You got it made. Runway's made. Roughly trim for 80. Throw some slip in there. 35 70 Last notch of flaps 50 60 knots Ground out and flare 50 knots or 50 miles per hour, not knots. <laughs> Sorry. Then we moved on to one last thing. Alright, so turn left downwind. Yep. Yeah, so if you had an engine failure here, where would you go? Back to the runway. Back to, yeah. Kill it, kill it. Yeah, go for it. There's nobody else out here. We can do what we want. Alright, so pitch for 80. Set yourself up. You're going to have to bring it all the way around. All right, and you'll probably have to S-turn a little bit. So keep coming around this way. You gotta dump those flaps in. Because now you're 900 feet above the ground, and you're high. Yep. Okay? So, two notches of flaps, throw some slip in. There you go. Bring it out, bring that turn in, keep the nose down as you turn. Keep those two in, because we're going to do a slip, probably. Yep. Right here we get the final. Yeah, so now super high on final. So we'll go ahead and do that slip here. Yep, slip hard. Yeah, we are really high. Yep. You're basically just controlling your alignment with your left ailerons. Exactly. Now I've made the pavement here. Yep, you've made the pavement. So we can go ahead and bring it back out. Yep, stabilize. Throw in that last notch if you want it. I do want it. Alright. Now you're just bleeding off a little bit of airspeed. 70. And, and setting up that round out and flare. 
and it's just a normal landing. Easy as pie. This was more of a review lesson with a few emergencies thrown into it. My instructor explained during the debrief she was confident in my ability to fly the pattern and land, which made me start thinking it may be sooner rather than later for my solo. However, there is still plenty to learn and I am looking forward to it. I appreciate my instructor in flight school yet again for allowing me to capture my training in this way. Thank you to my patrons over at patreon.com slash mmflightclub for all of your support, and I hope this is giving you what you have asked for. Link is in the description. Lastly, I just opened up a new online merchandise store. Link is also in the description down below. Be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time up in the sky.